Okay. I hope all you fellow TIs are having a uh, wonderful evening or as best as you can. Um, I know it's not easy with all these perps out here and all this targeting and stuff that they do and everything that's going on out there. Um, but understand, I'm praying for all of you. I'm uh, sending both my prayers and my love to all of you. Now, this is going to be the second video of the ingredient um, collaboration vids that I'm doing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post both of these on the guide channel. I'm just doing these in segments on this one, but the whole thing is going to be uh, posted on the guide channel, basically. Now then, uh, as you can see, um, the website is called uh, Megan Teltner or whatever. I don't claim any copyright on this, uh, on you know the content within this, but this is basically uh, ingredients that you want to avoid that are in personal care products. Granted, this is kind of leaning somewhat towards the female side, but it you know it still helps them out. But it's also some ingredients that would be in products you know that us guys would use too. Um, that we also need to avoid so anyway 13 ingredients to avoid in personal care products this was last updated on april 1st 2019 by megan Telpner, beauty and care is it possible that the products we are using in our bodies might be causing more harm to our long-term health than what we are eating i say yes in and there we go with the unusual words um in a in a covocally, that's why it's incredibly important to be aware of what we use in our cleaning and pr primping sessions. They are using some really some words I have not heard before, but I get I get the gist of what they mean though. I think they do what they be fancy or some shit. I don't know. And be aware of these thirteen important ingredients to avoid in personal care products. Research by the environmental working groups shows that the average woman uses 12 products with 168 chemical ingredients daily while men use six products that contain about 85 ingredients all together 12.2 million adults are exposed to ingredients that are considered known carcinogens i hope i spelled that right if i didn't then whatever um every single day because of their personal care products the common ingredients in uh lotions and potions potions really lotions and potions <laughs> the, okay now i know she went fa now, now that now it's starting to make sense she went fancy with the article but i don't mind it at least she's doing a good job of getting the you know the information out there so i'm appreciating that at least and i know we all do are considered safe in small amounts but our exposure is never small and eventually that adds up a lot if you wouldn't eat it, do you really want it on your skin? Just because you may not taste it when it goes in your skin, you are eating it. Our skin is our largest organ and it absorbs everything we slather on it. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, right? The third vid. These first two vids is basically to show you the neg you know, the bad ingredients. The next video is going to show you what this stuff actually is. You know, why they put it in there. And when you see this... When you do, you're going to understand why you need to avoid this stuff truthfully, because this weapon is using these ingredients. That's why they always try to be mindful of what you're buying from the store and what you're eating, because they want it in heat to anything that you're consuming. They want to know how to, they can manipulate the structures of the vitamins and minerals in that of what you are exposing your body to. And they do this a lot with uh, byproduct, uh, byprocessed meats. They do this with meats. I'm telling you, I, 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 I literally, literally purposely went and grabbed a, uh, a, a thing of, um, it wasn't even bologna. This was a ham. This was like, uh, some type of lunch meat or whatever, some type of hand lunch meat or some stuff. And I was pretending to purchase it, but as soon as I got it to the counter, I was like, nah, you can take that off. An old woman approached me from behind the line, right? Behind the line. And she, and I may have already uh, mentioned this in the other video. I don't know if I did, but just in case I didn't, I mentioned it now. And she offered to buy the food because I put a, what I was putting back a lot of stuff and they were reporting a list of items uh, that they wanted, you know, that I was buying or uh, so they thought. 
And they really wanted me to have that. So to all you out there, be careful and be mindful of the meat products that you buy from stores because that stuff has some, uh, as you know, some of the stuff that's very processed has a lot of unusual looks to it. You'll see like a, a clump of um, paste in some of these meat products, man. You, you'll see a clump of paste. And again, these will be both posted on the guide channel first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm, this is just, uh, this part that I'm doing now for it. The next part I'm going to do um, will feature uh, exactly what effects these ingredients have on the body itself. Now, there was a diagram as to what sh the, uh, the toxic ingredients and what shampoo does to you. Did you know that there were uh, synthetic bots in shampoo? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. They, and yes, they are synthetic bots, toxified ingredients in shampoo. Same type of nanotechnology, but it's unactive. They put this stuff right in the shampoo products, man. Not joking. Same thing with conditioner. Okay, if you wouldn't eat it, do you really want it on your skin? Just because you may not taste it when it goes in your or goes on your skin you're eating it. Our skin is our largest organ and it absorbs everything we slather on it. That's, you know, that makes you wonder more about the biofilm that they lace onto us. If you're looking to boost your health and your family's health, cleaning up your personal care products is a crucial place to start. Here are my top 13 ingredients to avoid in personal care products. Ingredients to avoid in personal care products. 13 ingredients to avoid. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Triclosan. Triclosan is an antibacterial and antifungal found in soaps, body washes, hand sanitizers, toothpaste, and cosmetics. Triclosan is linked to skin sensitivity, liver damage, hormone disruption, and may cause cancer. Yet another ingredient that they are using to basically boost cancer's cells onto people. This is the same stuff that we found in, in, in intoxified ingredients in the foods that leads to cancer. Now, this is something in soap that leads to cancer. Let's check out the next one. Parabens. Parabens are preservatives used in cosmetics, skincare products, soaps, cleaning products, and baby products to extend shelf life. Can cause skin and allergic reactions. Parabens collect in breast tissue and can stimulate the growth of breast cancer cells. Now that's fucked up. And I'm, I'm sorry about my language, but it really is. Because there are a lot of women out there that are suffering from breast cancer. And to literally see that this that they are putting ingredients to boost the effects of that. While they're suffering from that. that that's just wrong, man. That's just wrong. And especially how with how impressionable females can be at times, you know? Especially especially don't don't even get me started when they get those um, those magazines in their hands, man. And to ladies, all ladies out there, whether you're TI or not, understand you are beautiful the way you are, okay? And that's coming from me. You are beautiful the way you are. Don't let the magazines tell you otherwise, because they're gonna be nothing but uh beat around the bush and lie dead to your face that's precisely what they're going to do anyway let's go on to the next one um pith i hope i'm spelling this right or saying pronouncing this right pithylatus uh preservative used in soaps shampoos cosmetics beauty and skin care products and cleaning products and now here's the effects impact on endocrine systems particularly reproduction in male fertility Oh, that's bad. I don't even. Oh, that's yeah, that's shampoo. That's shampoo. That if you don't know what that is, what that number three is, that's shampoo. And I did tell you they had something really bad in shampoo. Um, sodium lithrate sulfate, S, no, also known as uh, as a shorter reference is SLS. Lathering agents that make our soaps sudsy and frothy can cause severe skin irritation that's when you uh you know like if you take a hot shower like your skin gets real dried up and stuff like that yeah 
that soap um it does i guess somewhat it cleans but at the same time like it's kind of like a double-edged sword like you're doing more harm than good with it that's why i you know recommended people to do the bacon soda thing um the other thing about this is that uh let's see now is that um like it that like now as you can see like it does cause severe you know skin irritation that's why you should never uh take a hot a very hot shower but you know a lot of people prefer a hot shower and they'll still use a bar soap but that uh causes that but um again they are putting a lot of toxified ingredients in the stuff that we put on our skin they put in a lot of toxified ingredients in the food that we put in our stomachs through our mouths and stuff like that through the through the liquefied stuff that we drink such as water juices fruit juices fruit preservative juices all this stuff did you know the worst type of beverage you could drink when it comes to sodas is a diet soda? Yeah, no joke. That thing has a lot more stuff in it than even the regular one does. A lot more harmful ingredients than even the regular one does, man. Anyway, let's continue. Um, Yeah, it can cause severe skin irritation and can be contam contaminated with 1 to 4 dioxane, a no carcinogen it can also build up easily in the brain heart lungs and liver so you may want to think next time before you pick up that bar of soap from the store that's something that can build up easily in the brain the brain you know your um uh, your hair you know the roots to your hair right i've seen a diagram of uh someone using shampoo right and uh, they were talking about like the uh, the hidden, the hidden truth of you know the deadly side of shampoos and the, these conditioners and shit that people use. And what it was showing is that um, there were bots leaving from the uh, the liquefied substance into the uh, hair down the hair strands all the way through the uh, root system of where the crown you know all around the crown, and all the way under the skin all the way inside to where where the bone is at and all the way down to the brain itself this was something that was basically being rooted into your into into the body pretty much and that's that's it. i'm gonna touch more on that basis in the next video though but without further ado let's uh continue fragrances and um, an umbrella term for thousands of chemicals that are untested Potentially unsafe using soaps, shampoos, beauty care and skin care products, and cleaning products. Trigger allergic reactions. Respiratory issues like asthma, headaches, and hormonal disruptions. Propylene glycol is used for hydrating in soaps, shampoos, cleaners, other beauty products. Can cause skin rashes. Contact dermatitis. It also may cause damage to the kidneys and liver, as well as neurotoxicity in children. What the hell is that? Hold on. Let me let me zoom in on that if I can. And it's not letting me. I have no idea what that is even. That looks like freaking uh, lotion. That literally looks like a, a freaking, wait, no, cleanses. It's used for hydrating. And so, no, it says for soaps and shampoos. So that's shampoo. Do you have any idea how often people uh, have their kids using shampoo? Crazy. Okay, uh, coal tar dye. The coloring agent is used in dandruff shampoos, bubble bath, toothpaste. That's why I told you all don't be using that damn toothpaste. And hair dyes. Known human carcinogen linked to allergic reactions, dermatitis, asthma attacks, headaches, nausea, fatigue, nervousness, and lack of concentration. D E A T N M E, also known as uh, well sunscreen, but I'll call, but oh, as you know, the above title from the category is the name of the harmful uh, chemicals within. Solvents in emulsifiers are, and if I pronounce these words wrong, I'm sorry about that, but just bear with that. 
are found in shampoos, conditioner, lotions, shaving gels, bubble bath, and skin creams. Can cause allergic reactions and may be linked to cancer. That's either the second or the third thing on this list that I have seen that has links to cancer. That's crazy. Formula diide functions mainly as a preservative in shampoo, nail care, baby pro- baby products for all things. Um, deodorants, toothpaste, cleaning products, hairspray, and cosmetics. Now, here's the thing. Baking soda has 101 uses, okay? You can brush your teeth with that. You can take a bath with that. Use it, you know, use that as replacement of the soap. Use that as replacement of your shampoo and conditioner. And um, you can also use it as a deodorant. You don't even have to wet it. You could just have it dry, put it underneath your armpit, rub that in, and you're good to go. That will deodorize anything under there. Now, as for your hair, I said it in the last video. I'm going to say it again. This is what you want to get. You want to get um, coconut oil, concentrated coconut oil from the store. You can get this from any grocery store that uh, has um, any, just about almost any grocery store should have this. Preferably Walmart is the highest chance you will easily find it, though. And you could, that's an, that, that is a non-toxified hair gel. That you can do well, uh, something that you can use as a hair gel and it also triggers the hair growth naturally. Um, flax seeds that's also good for your hair for your teeth because I heard a lot of TIs who are also under this weapon have been having trouble with the with the teeth, you know, being uh damaged and stuff from this. Eggshells, eggshells, uh, uh, the material from eggshells is similar to that of the material, uh, actually, if not the same material of that is made from our own teeth. And it triggers the growth of enamel. So if you were to put that in, a, you know, put that in a grinder, grind it up within a smoothie or something, then you could just drink that every uh, week or so, and you will literally be uh, helping growth of your teeth. So don't believe, when they tell you that like when your teeth are gone, and you can't grow that back. Don't believe that bull, that BS, man. It, it, it's lies. It's lies. They just don't want to tell you what would help you out. That's just all it is. They want you. That's why. That's why they want you to keep going to the dentist now, because I understand a lot of the stuff that, they, that these dentists use is with fluoride. And as you can see at the bottom, fluoride is at the bottom. Now let's go to the next one. Oh wait a minute. You know what? I haven't even finished. Uh, for minute, for minute, I aggressive. Um, uh, products, hairspray. Yeah, hairspray and cosmetic. Aggress, aggravated allergies irritates the skin and burns eyes nose and throat may boost our cancer risk and is neurotoxin mineral oil by Bipro- now that's oh my oh my god that is like the third or second thing that has something to do with kids that they use on a daily basis with hygiene products and that's baby oil that they got of all things Byproduct of the petroleum industry and is used in liquid foundations, blush, skin creams, and baby oil to make skin feel smooth. Clogs pores and prevents the skin from eliminating toxins, which can lead to acne and other skin disorders. Now for the next one, TALC absorbs moisture in baby powders, feminine powders, and blush, and it's also used as a lubricant on condoms. Linked to can, oh, 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 that is messed up. That is messed up. They put that on condoms, dude. No, no, they put that on condoms. T A L C, linked to cancer, ovary, and especially when inhaled or applied technically on our naughty bits. This stuff leads to cancer, man. A con- a chemical they put on condoms leads to cancer. How fucked up is that? And not just for a man, but for a female too. Unbelievable. Mainly used in entire experience to prevent sweating and it's found in some cosmetics. That's aluminum. It's affected central nervous systems functions and is linked to Alzheimer's disease. Now, the one you've all been waiting for, fluoride. 
Toothpaste, tooth whitening agents, and mouthwash. Fluoride accumulates in the body and it can inhibit thyroid function and contribute to bone disease is a known carcinogen. That's one of the worst things you could ever put in your body. That's why I stopped using toothpaste. That's why I stopped using whitening agents of any kind. If you want to know what the whitening agents is, that's your uh your mint. That's like a mint based product. Something like um uh like those uh I think they like that visine stuff or whatever. Like those um it's basically like a a coating that you would put over your teeth. And it says it's supposed to whiten it, but in reality, what it's doing is destroying your enamel. It's basically destroying a layer of your teeth in order to just to look whiter. But at the same time, you're doing a lot more harm and you're doing absolutely no good to your teeth by doing that. So those whitening strips that some people use, don't use those. Don't. Don't ever use those. I remember speaking with a, uh, a woman I, I knew a while back, and she told me that her grandmother, she was, now, her grandmother, her grandmother has teeth. Well, at the time, she did. And uh, she was using those, right, those whitening strips. And she got addicted to that, and um, she was doing it too often, and it got so bad that her teeth was just disint uh, disintegrating. Descent. To grading, I kid you not, disintegrating, meaning they were just turning into dust in her mouth. It was that it was that bad, man. Really. Okay, fluoride accumulates in the body and can inhibit it. Thyroid functions contribute to bone disease and is a known carcinogen. You gotta take care of yourself. So don't use toothpaste, don't use mouthwash, don't use no mouth whitening agents, just use baking soda, you're good to go. Add a little bit of uh iodine sea salt to that and you can also kill off some of that magellan too that actually goes in there now if you actually put some uh some of that uh baking soda in your mouth and you know you gargle that right you will actually feel um your mouth will feel completely different and i'm gonna tell you why it's because this nano moves around constantly in your mouth giving you a feeling an unnatural feeling, feeling, but you know you've experienced it for so long that you don't even, your body can't even recognize it as something different until you kill the stuff off. Okay, let's continue with the article. Number one, triclosan products that is you products that use it. Triclosan is a antibacterial, antifungal found in soaps, body wash, and hand sanitizers, toothpaste, and cosmetics. Health effects. Tri Triclosan is linked to skin sensitivity, liver damage, hormone disruption, and may cause cancer. Increasingly, research has shown that these, that those antibacterial soaps aren't the miracle product everyone thought the chemicals in them disrupt our microbiome, which is essential for gut health. And it makes you wonder why they would steal apple cider, apple uh, cider vinegar, so much. Why they don't want you having that colloidal silver. Impact antibiotic resistance and simply aren't more effective than regular oil, soap, and water. Big win on the triclosan battle. In the United States, the FDA has banned triclosan in soaps and body wash products. We wash off through it is still permitted in hand sanitizers and other applications. Hopefully, other countries will follow suit. So, again, the FDA has banned triclosan in soaps and body wash products. So, you won't find that. But if you're using hand sanitizer... I'm afraid that you're still exposing your stuff to triclosan. Again, the information of what this stuff does when it's, you know, when you're exposed to it is right there. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this article for you all. Parabens. Products that use them. Parabens are preservatives used in cosmetics, skin care products, soaps, cleaning products, and baby pro products to extend shelf life. Health effects. Parabens can cause skin and allergic and uh, aller allergic reactions, but they are most worrying for their impact on our endocrine system. Researchers have found that parabens collect in breast tissue and can stimulate the growth of breast cancer cells. It is. It isn't just the ladies that need to be concerned. Parabens can impact male reproduction too. Finally, parabens can potentially damage our DNA. Pethylitis. 
Products that use them, petrolitis, or another preservative used in soap, shampoos, cosmetics, beauty, skin care products, including products. Health effects, pathologies, or another. Now, basically, um, I, I could read this whole thing, but, you know, I've already did that. So I'm just going to just uh, shuffle through here so you can see. Just pause and read at your own leisure. You've seen the diagram, so it shows you precisely what all this is, you know, when it comes to these products. I'm going to go back to it, too, just, just so you can get a good look at that. Again, I claim no copyright for this article. And I wish I would have noticed that I was rereading the whole thing that I read earlier. It didn't matter, though. I didn't mind. I didn't mind. Okay. And yada, yada. Yada, yada. And uh, go back. Okay. Back to the diagram. So as you can see, that's your, you know, your natural soap right there. That's like liquid soap. And you got cosmetics, that's your lipstick, your uh, ladies, that's your lip balm, your, uh, what do they call that, the eyeliner, I think, or uh, I think that's what they call that mess, I don't know. I'm not too, uh, I'm naturally, with me being a guy, I wouldn't be too familiar with stuff like this. But um, I guess if I had a woman and I was supposed to be shopping for for Valentine's Day or something, then she would, she would be expecting something on the rounds of that, but I wouldn't even know what the hell to even think to get for a situation like that okay but uh i, I guess uh, i guess mostly just stick to you know like the chocolate and teddy bears and the roses and whatnot i guess that would be uh, repro uh the most suitable thing so anyway uh soap cosmet hang on soap cosmetic shampoo bar soaps perfume or uh you know in this case any type of uh, fragrance spray um, I don't know. That's just the regular ingredient that's in soaps and also beauty products and whatever. But mostly that's like shampoo. That's shampoo right there, I believe. Um, that's dyes. Um, you know, like hair dye. And then there's the sunscreen, uh, nail polish, baby oil, um, synthetic based products such as condoms um aluminum and then fluoride such as stuff you know but you will find in toothpaste um uh, mouthwash and anything related to basically tooth health the only thing you need for your tooth health is this eggshells and baking soda that's all you need that is it and then you need to start eating stuff more for bone health because i understand you you know your teeth are connected to your bone if you're, you know, you could also, you, you, if you're going to be healing your teeth, you don't want to just be healing your teeth. You want to be healing your bones, too. So anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this vid. I'm going to do a, a, a full recording for uh, both vids. And then I'm going to have that submitted on the channel. And then the third video, you know, which is going to explain the effects of all these toxic toxins on the body that has a diagram and everything like that will be the, uh, you know, the next video after that. Well, um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you, um, it'll give you a more, uh, insightful, you know, idea as to what to avoid and, uh, what to be, you know, keep an eye out for when it comes to these, uh, ch chemical based products. This is MM, um, uh, stay safe, stay strong. And remember, keep fighting a good fight. Both my love and my prayers are out to you all.